going to look at sending out survey invitations in REDCap. There are two main ways to do this, both of which can be found on the Manage Survey Participants page. The first way to send out surveys is via the public survey link. This is one URL that everybody in the project can visit to reach the survey. Participants can take the survey multiple times through this link. Your project manager will let you know if you should be using the public survey link or the participant list to send out surveys to your participants. If the participant is in office with you and you just want to open up the survey so that they can take it then and there, such as in a clinical situation, you can click Open Public Survey. And this is the basics of what a survey looks like in REDCap. It's exactly the same as a regular data entry form in terms of the options that you have, but there's no access to the rest of the REDCap project. That's why it's preferable if you're having someone just fill in their own information to do it via a survey rather than via a data entry form where they have access to everything in the project that you have access to. There are a couple of other ways to send out the public survey link other than just using the URL. If you click on a survey access code or QR code, you'll get a shorter survey link and an access code that people can use to enter the survey. This can be more convenient for trying to access the survey via a mobile device. Alternatively, REDCap also generates a QR code for every survey link that the participant can just scan and open. The other primary way of sending out a survey in REDCap is via the participant list. The participant list is a list of everyone in the project who needs to take the survey. With the participant list, REDCap provides a customized link for every participant so that their responses can be tracked throughout the project. To add a participant, you'll simply click on Add Participants, and enter in the email. You can copy and paste from Word or Excel as well. If you're using the participant identifier, you'll just add a comma and then put the identifier after it. To send out a survey, first pick the survey in the project that you want via the drop-down menu. Then click Compose Survey Invitations and say when you want the survey to go out immediately or at a specific time in the future. You can also schedule reminders to go out if people don't respond to the survey by a specific time. You'll choose what email the survey is going to come from, and then you'll type your survey message. You can use HTML formatting and piping here and you have the ability to preview it before you send it out. You can also send a test email to yourself. Over on the participant list side of the box, you'll choose which participant should receive the email. In the participant list, you'll be able to see which participants have responded, fully or partially, to whom the invitations have been sent, the check mark means that it's been sent and received, and the arrow means that it has only been sent, they haven't gotten it yet. You can also open up the survey via an individual link so that they can take it in a clinical setting. Or you can pull up the QR code and access code for their individual survey. You can see all survey invitations that are scheduled to go out or that have gone out in the past under the survey invitation log. Next, we'll take a look at longitudinal projects. Longitudinal projects are a little bit different from a regular REDCap project in that the project is divided up into a series of events. For example, consent, baseline, intervention, follow-up. When you go to the record homepage, it looks a little bit different. You can see that certain forms have been assigned to different events because you don't necessarily need to fill out every form during every event in the project. When you do data entry, you'll have to choose the event that you're on and then fill in the appropriate forms. Like with regular data entry, you can sometimes have repeating forms within a longitudinal project. For example, maybe a list of medicines. You can also have situations where an entire event repeats, all the forms in that event repeating each time. Another unique feature of the longitudinal project is the scheduling module. If it's being used in your project, you'll see a link for it on the left-hand menu. When your project manager set up your longitudinal project, if they chose to use the scheduling module, they will have provided REDCap with information about how far apart the different events in the projects are supposed to be spaced. That way, REDCap can schedule the events for each record. You can add a new record or choose an existing unscheduled one, 
give it a start date, and then say what arm of the study it should be in if your project has multiple arms. Then you click Generate Schedule, and REDCap will generate a schedule of when the different events should fall for this participant based on the information provided by the project manager when they set up the project. During the setup phase, they may have also given a range of acceptable dates for each event because getting people to come in or making things happen exactly on one day every time isn't always feasible. The scheduling module will show you that range. It will also highlight any dates that fall on weekends by listing them in red. When you're ready, you can click Create Schedule. Now, if you go to the calendar, you can see how all the different subjects for this project have been scheduled out, and you can click on any one for more information. You'll also be able to see the record ID, the event name, the due date, and you can change the status, so instead of due date, it's scheduled, confirmed, canceled, or a no-show. The date, you can put in a specific time and additional notes, and then you can jump directly to the data entry forms for this record relevant to this event. That completes the data entry REDCap tutorial. Next, we'll ask you a few questions about which REDCap you're planning on using, and then take you to a short comprehension quiz.